Hey guys, this is Ben here. In this video, I have a quick tip on how to remove fringe colors inside a photo while you're editing your photo inside Lightroom. Okay, so basically what you're looking at right now is a photo inside Lightroom that is already being retouched at 100%. But so let me click reset and try to get the photo back to the virgin state, which is like how it is looking right now after I hit reset. Okay, so. Okay, so that's done, right? So um, basically, usually at this state, I want to look at uh, my photo closer, like zoom in to see if there is any fringe color. Okay, guys, so basically right here, I found the uh, purple hue fringe color inside my photo. So the first step usually is uh, I, I will scroll down on the right hand side to see where it says lens correction. And I click on profile and I check the box where it said remove chromatic aberration. But even once I check that box, I still see purple hill colors still inside my photo. So the second step, I would, I would definitely have to zoom my photo out to a smaller size here. And then I click on the radio circle here. And then I would try to make a big circle that basically encircles the whole photo here. So make sure the whole photo is inside the circle. And then I will basically select the fringe option effect right there. And I will try to move the, the fringe bar at the bottom right here. Where's the fringe to the right, all the way to the right hand side. So it has to be like 100%. But sometimes, you know, you don't really have to do 100%. So then you can do like 50% if you want to. But usually most of the time I just do 100% to make sure that everything all the fringe colors are being removed automatically at the second step you know and then so let's see if we move back into that area where we saw uh the purple hue color earlier see if we had removed that if i can find it okay it seems like all all purple hue had been removed Yeah, I don't see the purple hue anymore. So basically, uh, at second step, usually, like, usually most of the time at second step, then you don't have to worry about any more fringe color or colors inside your photo. But sometimes, sometimes, you know, it happens. Uh, the fringe colors. Okay. Let me click close there to get out of that radio circle feature. Okay. So, um, sometimes basically you still see some fringe colors still. That won't go away inside your photo so you have to go to the third step which i won't discuss in this video but the third step is uh is manually uh, correcting the fringe colors uh, you have to go to lens correction again click on manual and then you just select the um, color selector right there and just select on the affected area and try to remove the fringe color manually that way but sometimes you don't if you don't know what you're doing you can make the problem worse by uh, correcting in one area, but the other area will have, uh, you know, some color being bleached out. Uh, sometimes the fringe color won't be removed, but it actually it got enhanced. It got enhanced somehow. So basically, th that would make the problem worse. So um, if you know what you're doing, then you can use the third step to actually remove the, all the fringe color 100%. Anyway, so. Uh, once that's done, usually I just uh, create a preset. Uh, no, actually, I, I would try to retouch the photo, uh, like, uh, and then I create a preset for it afterward. Once I retouch the photo completely, uh, I click on create preset right there, like on the left hand side. Click on the plus sign, create a preset. At the end of the preset, I include all the features that I want to include it uh, to include inside the, the preset. Uh, all the features I use for retouching my photo, and so. Once that's done, I will have a, uh, a preset, really. Let's see where the preset is here. I create earlier. Um, let's see. So right here is uh, the preset I create earlier for this photo. Um, uh, this is how my photo should look like once I 100% re uh, completely retouched uh, the photo. So. There you go. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you like this quick tip. If you like it, please uh, upvote my video and uh, subscribe my uh, to my channel. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.